welcome back to one of today any needed weekly videos. Today we have the wonderful Dan showing us around his property. He's from the south side of Brisbane. Um, yeah, he's got some silkies that he's he's um, going to use, and he was kind enough to allow us to come and visit him and show us the different plants he's got around his property. And he's got some neat, neat things, some amazing bamboos, fruit trees, and all sorts of things going on here. And um, he's kindly said he'll show us what he's going to prune, how he does it, and what his opinion is on the silky saws, which is really great. So he might tell us he doesn't like them. He might love them, who knows? So we'll see shortly. Um, and he's also going to give us a few great tips as to what you can use bamboo for, because we all know bamboo is beautiful. It's amazing to look at, and it's incredible the way it grows. But you can actually use this um, material for so many different uses, and he's put some to great use in his garden. So we're lucky enough to be able to film some of them today and share them with you. So let's get into it. Thank you. Well, I've just purchased the new um, Pocket Boy Silky. Uh, it's used mainly for carpentry timber and also for bamboo. But that's one reason I bought it. Now, it comes with a neat package. It's got a pup, the uh, Currently has a little metal strap at the back there, if I can take it off, you can see. That there, you can hook it onto your belt, so if you're climbing a tree or you're just wanting to have it without have, carrying your hand all the time, it's quite nifty. There's a little buckle that pops up, opens out, just locks up the saw. Thank you. So it pops back, has a handy lock-in pin. You've got to push it in or slide it in, it clicks in, and you can't pull it back, so it's a bit of safety. Pull it back and so they know that quite nice and neat. There's also a little eye there that you can thread in a loop and a rope. So if you want to have it on your hand and you're climbing or you just don't want to drop it, that's also handy when you're in a tree. So I've grown old hammy for two good reasons. One, for shade, and two, for food. Old hammy eye is a variety of bamboo that you can use to eat the shoots. Um, so that's why I'm growing it for food as well. Um, you know, we get bamboo in from China, mainly imported from China. I'm not too keen on e eating a lot of imported stuff. So, what I'm going to do is show you what I do when I wanted to prune some bamboo. This is a plant that's been in the ground for about two years. Now, I'm quite shrubbery. Now, this has been in here and it's a bit dry condition. We've gone through well, with the start of August and the weather has been pretty dry. You can see the ground is pretty dry here too and the leaves are starting to a bit strawberry and I'll need to make it a little bit more appealing, less of a mess. So I'm going to give it a prune. Get in there, it's away. And as you remember, you pull with a silky. The draw on the silky is where you do the cut, not the push. So I've just trimmed that quite lightly there. There's a lot of little stuff here. So I'm going to pack this little one, as you see. That's it, and you can, you can tell bamboo is quite, quite fibrous. There you go, that's already neat. Open it up quite a lot. This in here, one straw, one draw. So it's yeah. great that saw, isn't it? Because it's going to cut your dry sort of husks as well as the green bamboo, which is great. It is good. I find that it's not uh, grippy. Yes. It's a little bite in and then you yes. can't draw. Slightly, very easy to maneuver, very yep. easy to operate. So I'm trying to get to the bottom. One draw and then it cuts it through. And as you can see, I'm cleaning out all the young and small. Uh, bushes that came up in the first year and this is to allow these bigger ones here a bit more air and yep. a bit more flow you can see it it makes it look a lot nicer yes. uh, you can appreciate it because it's a beautiful plant mm. and so having that cleared out eliminates a lot of problems down here you will see that there's a lot of um, white powder that's fine but if it gets too thick you will get um, other diseases pests on bamboo as well. Oh, if it gets really? too wet, it will get it. Okay. Um, and aphids and all that stuff, you will get it on bamboo as well if it's too wet. Um, right. So having this open up gives you a bit of air through the plants, uh, eliminates some of your problems there. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to show you. Now this is a lot thicker. So I have to do it a couple times just to get it out. And I'm, I'm not putting too much pressure on it, just gentle sawing and it comes out nice and clean. 
Mm. So that's a nice clean. That's a nice clean cut there from that angle. You can see there's no sharp edges around there. That's what you want because your splinters come through and when you put your hand through it, you're going to get splinters caught up on it. I'm running my fingers through just to make sure I don't get splinters. Yes. And there you go. Nice clean cut, no splinters. The handle's beautifully comfortable on it too, don't you find? Yes, it's uh, a rubber but it's They've won awards for it. It's a patent to silky. Really? Yeah, yeah. And it's designed to absorb vibrations as well. So if you did a lot of the pruning through the day, it should make the hand feel quite comfortable. And if you get sweaty, that's designed to get grippy and not slippery. Oh, wow. So yeah, Excellent. it's designed to be very comfortable to, in the hand. I, I, I have to wear gloves to prevent slippy hands. Well, there you go. So, so with this, you shouldn't have more. to have that problem. Excellent. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. But next time you come into our store, we're going to show you some gloves because we've got some very special gloves. Excellent. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. Now, you said before that what you've just done now, thinning out the bamboo, it's obviously making it look beautiful. But is this going to um, encourage growth or help, like you were talking, disease before or anything like that? Uh, yes, one is for to keep the, the insides nice and clean, air through, yes. flow for the disease and parts and mould and mildew and all that stuff. The other is to open it up and this young shoots won't affect it too much. This is a new shoot that's grown out because you can see there's a nice light uh, dark green but it's smooth, it's clean. Yes. That's a new shoot coming through. Yes. And there's another shoot over there but that's about as thick as that. Yes. And they'll grow bigger and bigger and bigger. The more um, you prune but the little pieces, yes. the more space you can get in to do other things. Yeah, and bamboo will grow out from there. It's like a banana tree, you'll shoot from next to it to come out and come out further out. Yes. Now, if it comes too thick, then you cut the inside ones out and you yes. use the inside one for whatever you want to do, yep. furniture or make uh, trestles or anything mm -hmm. you like, and then it'll grow out further. Lovely. So and this is a clumping bamboo? These, I've grown only clumping bamboo. Great. Never grow the other one because it's a noxious weed and you can be in trouble because it's hard to get rid of. It can yes. run 30 meters and you kill it here and don't want to grow 30 meters away. It's the same one. It's a <laughs> mongrel to get rid of. So, <laughs> so don't get that one. Don't get clumping that one. Only. Always get clumping bamboo because you can get rid of it easily. So if you want to get rid of this, then cut it all down. Then get an excavator in, dig around that, that's done. That's <laughs> simple as that. Yep. You don't have to worry about it going 300 meters away next to your neighbors or it will follow water too. So if you, there's a good water source, it'll follow that and it'll suck all the water. Mm. Bamboo loves water, so it can handle the water, but too much water will kill it, like anything else. Too much water will kill it, but it loves water. So okay. you want to go to Lush, give it good watering now and then, and it'll go to Lush for Brilliant. you. Brilliant. There you go. But if you look closer, this one here has got a certain disease on it, and that's just a mite that sits on it. Uh, and it just sucks the life out of the bamboo. It's just a parasite. Most, most disease um, problems and bugs you get. Uh, in, in situations where you can't get to, it's nice and moldy or dry or wet in certain areas that you can't get to, they, they love it. And that's why they're sitting in there. And that's the place that I'd like to cut to make this a bit more area so that I can then get into it and get more shoots out of it. Now as you see it's the bottom part, I'm going to try and cut, and I'll cut the top just to demonstrate the use of this saw. There you go. Let's cut some right through. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. There you go. Done. It's a nice clean cut. It's so it's cleaner. surprising, isn't it, how well such a small saw will it, cut? It is amazing that it does cut it through like butter. Now, I'm, I'm having trouble lifting it because the weight of that has come down on it. So let's demonstrate that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. That's a nice cut. Nice, beautiful clean cut. Or a very simple little saw like this. It's amazing. So there you go. I'm happy with it. I don't know about you, but give it a go. And it's not that expensive compared to a lot of other brands where you know you cut half a dozen times, and then you get all this rubbish that's on a blade that clogs up and you can't cut. So that's my 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 personal experience with it. I don't want a blade that gets clogged up too easily. 
uh, loosens its, uh, loses its sharp, and, uh, sharp edges and, uh, on the teeth and it can't cut. So I'll be able to go through that and I'll be able to get all that other dead wood out or the wood that I don't want in there and I'll open it up and I'll be able to use it to make more shoots because more space, more shoots will come out and you get more. Now Dan, we have a, another saw here that um, I'd love you to wow. be able to try. This is called the Tsurugi. So this is a very, very narrow saw that Silky Japan have made that's designed to sort of get between the clumps. So you were saying when something like this grows up and, and you haven't sort of thinned it, but then you decide you want to take out some select branches, mm. this will get between them quite nicely. Now it's a much thicker blade than the pocket where you've been using. So it's going to feel different to use. But have a go at it and let's see what your opinion is on this one. Okay. Um, see if you like it or not. So one other thing I want to do with bushes down here is take on the little side sheets off like that. Now I'm not applying pressure. I think one of the beauties about Silky is not to apply too much pressure. Let the blade do the work, not you. So it makes light work of a very thick bush. And you make your life so much easier. I'm just doing gentle draws. If I try too hard, it will bind. So just take it easy and it just cuts itself through. You don't have to push too hard and you don't have to draw too hard. That's a lovely way to do things by not exerting too much force and you can save yourself a lot of energy. There you go. I'll take the V out to show you. There's the V. Nice and beautiful. Hey, there's your C. <laughs> there you go. So now I'm just going to come through and just prune the rest. And I'm doing very short strokes at the moment because I've got another piece behind it. And I'm actually flexing the blade like this because I can't get there to go have it nice and straight. So I'm actually flexing the blade as I'm cutting. Now I don't know if Silky appreciates that. I that will put that blade to the test to see if I can get this out. And so this saw here as well, it's available in a few different blade lengths, so you're doing this all the time. <laughs> It is, it is coming. And it's through. One. Let me reach in and grab it. Oh, I don't think I can pull it off. So I'm going to have to chop this down to little pieces. Try to get it out smaller, smaller, more smaller. And pull it out that way because it's just all tangled up. It is, it's huge, isn't it? It is. <laughs> it's it's just, about eight it just keeps going and going and going. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is huge bamboo. This bamboo grows up to 20 meters. That's about 8 metres because I don't want to overwater it and give it too much growth. So I'm going to go ahead and cut some more and I'll come back and you'll see some more bits for you. Fabulous. I just thought um, I would bring with me also sure. some secateurs. Now these aren't made from Silky, they're made from a different company but still in Japan. The company's called Okatsuni and they make beautiful robust secateurs. So because you've got so many beautiful plants and trees on your property, I thought you're obviously using secateurs so you might like to try these. Now they come in a couple of different size options. Uh, I think from memory I just gave you the small one. So you had me at Japan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, that's right. the larger. So exactly wow. the same design, just larger right. blade, larger handle. Right, let me have a go at the larger. <laughs> Sounds yeah. good. Now again, let's start doing some pruning. That was sweet. Did you hear that? Yeah, let's do this again. Now here's, here's, have a, come and have a look. Here's a larger nodule. Oh, the side here. Here's a larger node. And I'm going to cut it with this. One, two, three. Not yet. It is a very. So this hard is putting it to the test, isn't it? Because it this is, is not because, easy to do. Because this thing is, you see, a lot of fiber in there. Yep. Right. Yep. It's very tight and dense fiber. So yes. Even if I cut it this close, this far, I've got to really push out. Yes. But it cuts through it nicely. And you know what also is beautiful is because it's a bypass, it's not crushing that. Yeah. So if you wanted it to retain its shape without, you know destroying it, it's doing that because it's the bypass style of secateur. And ordinarily you couldn't do that with bypass secateurs, you'd just break them or throw them out of alignment. So they, they're amazing aren't they? Yeah. 
Did you see this one disappear too? Yeah. Because <laughs> oh, all these products have just vanished. Yeah. Everyone's house. <laughs> oh, wow. Great. Bamboo absorbs things. Yeah, <laughs> not only water. <laughs> no, not only water. It's just absorbing the best quality tools you can buy. <laughs> exactly. That's why I like silky. <laughs> the problem is, now when I'm going on out to do something, I better put a chain on these things. Yes, yes. Because I don't want them to walk. No, that's they it. They can't grow legs. The, the colour of them is handy though, because the red does tend to stand out in foliage. So that is one yep. benefit, is you do notice them if you put them down in the garden and you wander off and do something <laughs> or take a phone call, and you might see them. And the blade is very sharp, I can feel it. And these aren't brand new. These you've had for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So you're telling me you've had this blade for a while. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, just, definitely. I'm just putting my yeah, no, I this is not a new product at all. We've slice had this. my finger off. Yeah, no, please don't. Please, I might yeah. make good footage. Makes me nervous. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Great. And you know the other thing that's great about them? If you brush it against your leg, you can open and close the latch with one hand, freeing up the other hand to hold whatever it is you've been cutting. Like this? Yeah. So that's the latch there. Yep. Great, isn't it? Very clever idea. Isn't it? Or you mm. use your pinky. Yeah, that's true. Yours is probably stronger than ours, though. <laughs> the other fabulous products they have, um, and this is more so designed for um, soft things, so possibly more for the vegetable garden, yeah. um, for cutting vines, for cutting flowers, for cutting, you know, tomatoes and things like that. Um, well, actually, can you show us again the trellises yeah. that you've done for the tomatoes sure. and, and the other plants you've got? So we have this amazing bamboo little frame to have beautiful cherry tomatoes, blowing up the bamboo sticks here and Dan will tell you how he made it. It's not that hard, it's quite simple. It's just got some horizontal ones in there and this tomato bush was growing so big and so fast it was all over the place. So I had to trim some back and just get it onto it first or else you can't get tomatoes and it's too thick and it's too cluffy in there. What happens is all the mold and mildew, mildew will get in there and all the disease will build up and you lose a lot of your plants with that and your fruit as well. So I just cut some bamboos earlier. Um, this was done about four weeks ago and I just put it in there. Now this is still green. If you cut a bamboo and you shove it into good water, it will still try and grow. So that's one of the beauties of it. Um, if it doesn't get enough water, it will then die. Um, so I'm not worried about it taking off. And if it does, it's good. I'll have another piece of bamboo to put in the garden. Now here's a piece I, we cut earlier. And thank you, thanks to Sinead, here's something she prepared earlier. Just trimmed off all the edges for me. And I'll get you to line up and just wherever you want it and then just trim let's say above that no and then just change it yep <laughs> you cut it for me so you got the okatsuni secateurs there you're going to trim it with very strong take it off lift it up and come down to about there right yeah. there that way you're down to uh do it up in the um... yeah up there too high and not there you go quite simple <laughs> and there's the other piece what hey look at that something we oh, prepared earlier <laughs> <laughs> just shove it in the garden so what i do if I want to keep things in place, you can hold that. Yep. This is falling out or so. I just put it in there. I push it onto the ground. Now, if I want to be clever, I just push it through the top part. I've got something to hold there. Yeah. Push it so that the fruit doesn't pull out. I push it to the ground. That's it. It holds my fruit. Basically, it's something to have a structure to stop the plant from flopping on the ground and just growing out. So you want it up. It's yeah. easy to access your fruit and it's easier to trim. So this is the other one, the other second two we're talking about. Now these are nice straight. If I was to prune this, this is great because I want to take all the new suckers off that I don't want, like this one. How did that Very feel? smooth. Very I like smooth. That. That's the idea is to get all the dead ones out of the garden so that your tomatoes will have energy to grow. The suckers on the side like this one here, push that sucker off. Just easy things to do. Keeps your plants nice and healthy. Easy to get the fruit. So if you look at the bottom of the side, you get big bunches of fruit here. Yep. And I'm starting to get fruit that are ripe. So I should be able to eat this in about today. And by next week, I should have a bunch of crop and I get more and more and more. So you use the secateurs to prune, or no, to cut back down the bamboo, and then you use the snips to cut off the um, soft branches of the little tomato branch growing. Beautiful to use. Cool, and how did you find those, sec um, those snips there? Have you ever used snips before? I have, I've used mm -hmm. plenty of snips because I've got a big garden. Yeah, see. yeah, yeah. It's just, I feel they're very light. Yeah. I find it very light and easy to maneuver. Yeah. Uh, 
very thin. It's not uh, heavy. Yep. And the uh, plastic is actually molded into the arm, mm, so mm. you don't have any bit. So you got the really thin piece of bamboo and just clearing out these side branches with a very, very strong pair of Orikat strings. Pruning, pruning, I'm actually having so much fun here. I forgot where I was for the last two seconds just then. <laughs> But you can also use it with the Okatsuni Secateurs. I will demonstrate it a little uh, soon. Just, just don't mind me having a bit of fun. <laughs> and also small pieces. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> just trying to... So these are incredibly strong. As you can see, just cutting, cutting, cutting. <laughs> Flying toward me. It's a good thing. <laughs> this is my passion fruit arbor. In summer, it grows all through the top and it covers this all in shade. Yep. See, this year hasn't been as prolific as the previous year because I've trimmed it back really hard. But <laughs> if I train the vines, I can get it to grow whatever way I like. You can see some of the vines here are still growing, even though this is winter. Thing about this is like I don't have to pick the fruit for me. <laughs> <laughs> when you've got guests to do it for you, <laughs> this is great. You can come over more often. Or you make yeah. a punch out of it. So you put some honey and just put about four fruits. You stir it up in some warm water and then you add ice to it and there's yeah. your punch. Or add, or add some liqueur. That's yes. a different punch. Yeah. Well, I'll have a bit of punch. I'll have one of those. <laughs> yes. So it's just, you know, it's got that tangy yes. uh, citrus yes. flavour yep. and also that. So it's cocktails sweet. we're making later. Yeah. <laughs> sure can. You can take these. Brilliant. Thank there you. you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. A big thanks to Dan. If you enjoyed our video and want to see more, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We also love reading your comments to so send them our way. See you next week.